Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Somebody um, wanted a defensive video, man, and so that's what I'm going to bring to you guys today. Um, pretty much what he was saying is, can I talk about how your guy moves automatically? Um, okay, and so this is what I'm going to bring. I'm going to bring you guys three things about playing defense that a lot of people don't know, and uh, it's secrets that I use that uh, some people just don't know. So the first thing we're going to um, talk about is your man moving by himself, right? Hit the wrong damn button. It is what it is. Uh, check it out. Controller settings. I have been playing like this since last year. I ain't played 15. I'm 14. All, all the two Ks. I turned defensive assist off, and I've got my box out uh, assist strength at 50%. I always do this. My um, shot contest is intense D. You can change it to always or manual if you want to. Uh, most people change it in my team because they don't want to get fouls or whatever. But um, I'm just showing you so you can have it set like me if you want to. But uh, this is zero. Um, it doesn't mean that it doesn't do anything. It just means that it's minuscule or it's not as much as it is. Um, and and that's, that's really all you need to know. So box out on 50% and... Uh, Strength right here, uh, the defensive sense strength right here, and then you got our uh, intensity. Uh, that's what I do. So I can hold L and run at somebody. I normally hold L and hold a button, or I hit X or something to try to challenge the shot, man. Uh, it really, it really just depends. But now, what I was saying is, just because you got that on zero, that doesn't mean that your guy isn't going to move. The way that NBA 2K17 is set up with that defense is, your player makes the first move in reaction to what your um, the offensive guy is doing. Uh, it's hard to explain, but whatever the first move is, let's say if I was going against Denver right here, I don't have anybody to go against. If y'all want me to do a very in-depth one, I'll uh, do it. Yes, 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 yes. Should we all play a game? All right, let's play a game. I don't want to play Boston Post, but what I'm going to show you guys is this. Check it out. I'm not doing anything at all right. I don't have the controller here. You're, oh, fuck, I got to get the ball first. That damn basketball, man. Your little punk ass here. Fuck you, man. Okay, why do they got me on the sideline? I'm trying to do a video. Anyway, whatever the... Okay, here we go. I'm not matching anything. You see how he's doing all of this? He's doing everything by himself, right? If I had a challenge that, it wouldn't have gone in. But I'm saying that to say that whatever the first move is, your guy will react to it automatically. Whether you got... Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go again. I'm not going to do anything. He's going to try to go in. Now I have to start playing defense. You see what I'm saying? That's just how the game is set up. So no matter what, your guy is going to react to the first thing that the computer does. The problem is, the reason that people think that your guy is sliding and slipping all over the place is because you're fighting against what the computer wants to do, right? So you may think that, you may think that, Stepping back and like let's say he's coming to you and he's got the ball in his right hand the computer already knows He's gonna cross over and and go left right so your guy moves this way your guy moves to the uh Moves moves to the opposite direction to the hand that the guy that the computer already knows he's going to right You think your guy is sliding so you yank back this way and then the guy goes by you this way uh, This way to the right so the computer automatically moves to your right because the guy is gonna come to their left and then you think it's a you think it's a flaw in the game, so you yank back back to your left, and then they actually go right. So you think that your guy's sliding, but what's really happening is the computer puts you in the best position. Uh, but I would say about eighty to eighty-five to ninety percent of the time, the computer is going to put you in the best position to play defense for the first move. After that, you're on your own. You got to do everything after that. But the computer is going to make the first move for you. Regardless of if you got your D. You just see I had my defense all the way down. And the computer still did it. That doesn't matter if you're in the post. It doesn't matter if you're on the perimeter. None of that matters. The computer will always make the first move for you. And um, you just got to kind of react from there. So just try it a little bit. I know that you. I know it's going to take some getting used to. But whatever the first move is that the guy's going to make. Let the computer react. 
and then you know, then then you react after that. I mean, you might as well do it because I mean, your bitch ass been getting beat anyway. So hey, it ain't gonna matter if somebody if you get beat one time. It takes some getting used to. It does take some time to trust the computer, especially when somebody dribbling and cooking the shit out of you. But that's why they're dribbling and cooking the shit out of you. Number two, stay off L2 so much. You can't be on L. I mean, uh, or left trigger, L2 left trigger, whatever. Stay off of it so much, man. A lot of people don't know this, but if you if you come off L2 and you run into a screen, your guy and you got pick dodge or whatever, if you run into a screen not holding L2, you won't be impacted by the screen half as much. So you run into the screen, you're not holding L2, your guy will either spin off the screen, he'll go above it, he'll go below it. Um, Left trigger is like an engage, so it's almost seeing it like I should engage this guy. Now conversely, what you can do is if your guy is the person that's setting the screen, you stand under the screen, hold L2, and push the stick into the guy. That will prevent the player from, from setting the screen 99% of the time. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but you stand between your guy and the screen and hold L2 and into the guy, he won't be able to set the screen. The only problem with this is every now and then, the guy will be able to dive to the hole, but you gotta think about it like this. We would much rather get two points than let him come off the screen and get three. So. Stay off L trigger so much. Don't, don't hold left trigger when you're running into screens or trying to get around screens because you're gonna get picked every time. If you run into the screen not holding it, most of the time you're gonna finesse the screen and you'll be good to go. And uh, number three, and this is something that everybody should already know, man. But uh, if you go down here to options, controllers, not controllers, settings, I'm sorry, controls, you can come right here and there are some defensive moves here that help you out a lot. We don't care about swapping player. We don't care. We know we all know intense D. That's all y'all do is do that. We, we, y'all stay on Y and, and uh, X or, or triangle and, and, and square. So we know that. Uh, pro stick steal, everybody knows that. Uh, crowd the dribbler, everybody knows that. Just get up on him. Fast shuffle is something that some people don't know. Sometimes when you're moving, you want to, if you, if you must go to left trigger, you want to hold left trigger, but if you don't want to come off of left trigger, you gotta you just tap turbo here and there, and you just kind of shoot it like a water gun, just a little bit here. Sometimes you just want to beat him to the baseline. You really don't even have to use it uh, that much. Sometimes you gotta come off L and get and sprint there, and then body him back up or whatever. But that's something that everybody doesn't know, I guess. I mean, you should know these things, but a lot of people don't. Hands up on defense, we know that. Shot contest, everybody know that. Uh, SWAT block, everybody should know that. SWAT, okay. That, none of that stuff should you be worried about. This is the coupe de grass right here that a lot of people just don't know about with uh, post defense. People want to know how I play such post, uh, good post defense, how I'm able to keep the guys out. It's not boxing out of any of that stuff. How I keep the people out of uh, position and how I'm able to play against uh, big men so well. It's, it's just because of these right here. Fighting for post position is one thing. I'm not going to let you get in there. Uh, I mean, you can come straight to controls and you can see it. Uh, deny the post entry pass. This shit never works, man. They always let the ball go right over your head. And it's hard as hell to get in front of somebody. So, um, you know, post disengage. I mean, you can come off of them. Everybody knows that dumb shit. But um, pull the chair. This doesn't ever work either, really. Like, guys, because nobody tries to post you up. That's why it really doesn't work. The ones that you guys need to... To get yourself, don't don't try to deny, don't try to do any of that. Because what these will do is you 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 try to deny a person, but if they throw the ball in, you fucked because they are they're already gonna be in a good position. You need to concentrate on being between your guy and the basket if you're trying to play post defense. These are the moves that you must learn if you are a post player. You have to learn these three: grab, chuck your bitch ass out of bounds, and bump. You have to learn these three. And of, of course, box out. But everybody should know how to box out. Even though everybody say they do, they don't know how to box out. But you know, we can do a boxing out thing or something like that. Listen, everybody knows rebounding. Bump. It's so simple, but people don't know that this is here. When the guy's running, hold left trigger. That's it. A lot of people do it by mistake a lot, and you end up with the... Um, with the animation where you just put your hand out and keep the guy from diving, um, that's that's tough. I mean, it's really easy to do, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, Chuck, stand still. The thing is with bump, you gotta be standing still and just be in his way and hold left trigger, and you can bump him. 
I find that Bump is not even really that good. I use if you can get the animation, it's great because it just completely denies a cut. But I find that uh, Grab is probably the best one, but it's the hardest one to do. Because you see right here, he's trying to cut to the paint. He just grabs him and pushes him straight out the paint. I will try to get some gameplay of me doing this to people uh, tonight. Tonight, that's, that's probably what we're going to focus the stream on, me just straight post denial, right? Uh, if y'all want me to do that, let me know. Um, so you just grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. That's what you want to do. It keeps him from going where he wants to go. Chuck is the second one that I like to use because he wants to go where he wants to go. But it puts him in an animation so right when the guy wants to pass him the ball, he can't pass the ball. All of these keep the guy from passing the ball. So if you do this, they can't pass the ball to them while they're in the animation or what have you. Sometimes every now and then it'll happen, but most times it won't. So look at this. Bump. Just get in their way. Hold left trigger. Chuck. Hold left trigger. And uh, push the right stick toward the player. Just bump the shit out of him. Just chuck him so he can't get the ball. And grab. Both sticks toward the player. This is by far the most difficult one to do, but rightfully so. Because... It's the most effective. Now, when you get it, you'll be able to get into a rhythm where where people are cutting and you're kind of you kind of going on and coming off left triggers. You just want to kind of get in their way, then chuck them and then bump. And that's what makes them have to run back and forth and back and forth. If you learn how to do it the right way, you can you can push somebody into the paint and have them in bad position with one of these moves, and then you hit them with a deny engage like this. And you lock their ass in the paint, you get a three seconds, something like that. that. That's what it's all about. You just want to try to get them in bad position. But really, that's it. Those are the three things that you really have to know. So number one, the computer will always make the first move for you. Don't fight the revolution. Just sit back and bask in the glow. Let me open this for my little boy. Hey, didn't I tell you to bring me one of these Starbursts? Bring daddy one. Okay, so number one, he know I'm always taxing him, so that's why he stopped bringing me stuff. But uh, number one, the computer will all no no matter how low your your defense is. Thank you, Bubba Duck. No matter how low your automatic uh, defensive assist is, mine is off, and the computer still helps. The computer will always make the first move for you. That's number one. Number two. Uh, well, you saw number three was those. What the hell was number two? Shit, I forgot what number two was, man. Uh. Number two, don't stay on L trigger so much, man. LT, and you can go through screens a lot easier if you just um, if you don't hold LT while you're trying to go through the screen. I know it's hard to to do, but it's just how it is. And number three, familiarize yourself with these moves. You go to controls, options, controls, hit left trigger uh, three times. Left trigger three times. You get right here. Familiarize yourself with these moves. Bump, chuck, and grab. This will help you whether you're on the perimeter. If like, let's say, if they set a screen and my guy gets the ball, I grab his ass. I mean, and uh, if he's a guard, I grab him. I won't let him go by. And a lot, okay, and this is the other thing that I have to tell you. The strength matter? Hell yeah! Because if your strength is low, you can forget about these animations. I'm gonna tell you that right now. These animations are damn near directly dependent upon how much strength you have. If the person that you're trying to grab, chuck or whatever, got more strength than you, you ain't even gonna matter. You can bump them and probably do that thing where you put your hand in the chest, but the rest of it, they're gonna go right through you and dunk on your head. So this is why strength is important because these three moves seem to be directly dependent upon how much strength you got. When we first started playing the game, I couldn't deny people. I couldn't do any of that because my strength went high enough. Now that I got my strength up to, uh, let me show y'all what um, where I am now. Um, now that I have my strength up, and I'm at, um, what's my strength? My strength is like, I think it's 61. Uh, strength, yeah, 61. Now that I got my strength up in the 60s, and if I boost this, it goes 65. Now I got my strength up there. You can't just bully me down low anymore. And if you try to, then um, I'm gonna grab you, push you, or whatever. And you're gonna be six for um, you're gonna be like four for ten now, that dog. Like it's not gonna be pretty. Yes, there are some people who just outright spam the ball to their center. These moves are not as effective against them because if somebody just wants to try to fuck with you in this game. 
the game is so offensively friendly that there's nothing that you can really do about it. So if somebody's just going at you, you know, it's not really going to help you because they, all they're going to do is, if somebody's just going at you, this is what they're going to do right here. Okay. They're going at you. They're going to run right. They're going to run across the lane. Uh, they're going to run across the lane. And then they're just going to wait. And they're just going to keep sprinting across the lane until that guy forces them the ball. They're just going to keep doing this over and over. Run out the paint, run back in. Run out the paint, run back in. Ain't a whole lot you can do about that if their team is committed to getting them the ball. You just got to whoop their ass on the other end. But most of the time, most people are not going to do that. They, you know, Most people don't even get a ball to the center. So as long as you can prevent them from looking like he has an easy pass down there, they're not going to pass the ball to him. And like I said, these moves work with guards, anything. If, uh, if you get a bad mismatch, use those moves. You, you'll at least hold him up so he won't dunk on your ass when you do the pick and roll and all that. Anyway, man, I've already talked too long. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know what the next lesson y'all want, man, and I'll put that up. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. And we got a, uh, a two-for-one video coming up tonight. And we got uh, me versus me coming up tomorrow, man. And I'm out. Peace.